Hello, and welcome again to this episode of Around the Horn. My name is Matt East. I'm president of the Georgia Dugout Club, and I'm your host of Around the Horn. In this episode, we're going to get a chance to meet Emily Digby of Decula High School, where Coach Kelly Poff says she's probably one of the best ones that she's ever coached in high school. We'll see if that's true as we go with four questions and Around the Horn with Diggs, as she's known at Decula High School, right after these messages. Hello, my name is Lee Kicklider, head softball coach at Ola High School. I would like to encourage all the softball coaches to visit the GADCsoftball.com website to nominate your senior athletes for the All-State game. The deadline to nominate is October 23rd. The All-State game is being played at Buford High School on November 13th. If the player nominated is selected, the cost is $150. Please go nominate today. Thank you. Welcome back, and again, thank you so much for tuning in to this second episode of Around the Horn, sponsored by the Georgia Dugout Club. So let's get to know Emily Digby from Decula a little bit better. She's a junior. She's just committed to the University of Georgia to play softball, and we get a chance to go four questions and Around the Horn with her. Here we go with question number one, headed to first base. We wanted to know, Emily, what, when was the first time that you fell in love with softball? How did you get involved with this great game and what makes it so enjoyable? Yeah, so my older sister played several years when she was younger and I would always uh, watch them practice and even practice with them um, and develop my skills at a young age. Um, I also love the competition that I'm playing at right now, which is at one of the highest levels. Um, every time I step onto the field, I'm improving as a player, um, which I really, really love. And I also love bonding with my teammates on and off the field. Uh, I love the bonds that we create, so. That's awesome, that's awesome. Yeah, and uh, shoot, there's probably countless hours you've put in, so having friends and family, friends like family probably help out a whole bunch, right? Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Emily, we've made it to first base, so now let's go to second. Get into scoring position here. You play travel ball, and obviously you play high school ball at Decula. And we know they're obviously softball, and you play it the same way. You probably prepare for it the same way. But we want to know, what do you feel like are the differences? What do you like about both, both of those, travel and high school ball? Yeah, so for high school, you're literally playing and representing for your school, which is one of the best feelings that I can say that I've felt um, in my lifetime. And actually here at Decula, we have one of the best cultures that um, that I've seen in a high school, you know, culture. Um, we go out and support other programs. They'll come and support us. So we have a ton of support at our games, which I really, really love. Um, and for travel ball, it's amazing. Like, I literally get to travel around the country, playing against the best players out of the country, going from California, Colorado, Texas, and even more. But um, playing for Georgia Impact Lewis 18U has really prepared me for what the next level is going to look like. That's cool. Now, with travel ball, and I know travel in high school, uh, you know, like you said, is different and all. What about the, like, high school time and practicing? And I know travel and practicing. It, with, playing with the Impact, obviously, you guys are the upper echelon in the country when it comes to travel softball. But do you put in as much time with high school as you do with travel? I know probably travel is more individualized than team-based with high school. Explain a little bit of that. Oh, yeah. No matter what level I'm playing at, I'm always going to put worth, like, the same amount of effort I am for travel. Um, that's just the player I am. So I can definitely say I put in the same amount of work that I do in travel in high school. So um, for high school, we're practicing every day for about two to three hours. Um, and then I have hitting lessons within that. And then for travel, it's hard to get everybody together since everybody lives in different states and um, whatnot, but every now and then we'll put together a long practice, um, and we'll all get together and practice then. We've made it to scoring position with Diggs from Decula High School, so we'll see if we can get across the plate when we return right after this. 
Hey guys, Franklin Deloach here, East Coweta High School, head softball coach in Sharpsburg, Georgia. Hope everyone's doing well. Just want to reach out to everyone and about the exciting news about the upcoming Georgia Dugout Club Coaches Clinic. It's going to be in uh, December the uh, 10th and the 11th in Atlanta there. Uh, awesome opportunity to hear some awesome speakers and see some uh, fantastic folks and other coaches. Uh, kind of share some uh, stories with them and some great time of fellowship. Uh, you can go to the uh, Georgia Dugout Club website to register for the Coaches Clinic coming up on December the 10th and 11th. Go to, go to uh, GADCSoftball.com. Thanks, guys. Hope to see you there. Welcome back. We're in scoring position with Diggs from Decula High School, Emily Digby. We're trying to see if we can get across home plate. So Emily, before we can do that, we've got to get to third base. And here's your third question. We know you're a great student, already committed to University of Georgia, not only to play softball, to be a student athlete. So how do you manage the classroom side as well as the softball side? I know it can be a juggling act. Can you give us any tips on how you personally handle balancing school and softball? Yeah, so for me, it's basically just time management is the biggest thing that I can ever say. Um, being a student athlete is one of the hardest things that I will ever do in my life just because of how much time I need to put in my sport, but also put my academics first. So um, just making sure that I have really good communication with my teachers is my number one priority. So if I'm going to miss any classroom time, my teachers are the first people to know about it. Um, and I just always try to take advantage of any free time I have so I can do homework or study for a test or quiz coming up. So uh, time management is definitely a huge thing in my life right now. All right. Now, we didn't, you didn't plan on me asking this question, but it just popped in my mind. So we'll see how you're on the run. We know you, we've, uh, you see you got your Georgia stuff on, so you've committed to UGA here recently. Uh, what have you put in a thought to a major? Um, so right now um, I'm thinking about business or sports marketing, but it's still up in the air right now. Yeah, you still got some time. Still got yeah. some time. <laughs> All right. Well, All right, we've made it to third base, Emily. Let's go across the plate and score the run. Last question here for you. As we mentioned earlier, you've committed to the University of Georgia as a junior uh, to play there after you graduated from Decula. So we wanted to know, or I want to know personally, so help me out here. When did you realize that you could compete at a very high level to commit to the University of Georgia and be recruited by some D1 schools? When did it click? When did you know you had an opportunity to play big time college softball? Uh, so. I still have a lot to learn about the game, and I love that part. But, I mean, I guess I would probably say when I moved out to the 18U Georgia Impact Lewis team as a 15-year-old, um, it definitely has been difficult with, you know, adjusting with the pitching and level of play. But um, I, I would say that's probably the moment that I realized that I'm good enough to play at the next level. And I was really excited for the opportunity. But I knew I would have to work really, really hard to earn my playing time, and I was ready to put towards my effort. Well, that's awesome. Well, play, what, playing 18 and under as a 15-year-old, that's pretty awesome. So yeah. that's great. Well, Emily, thank you for your time and all, and uh, uh, best wishes for everything going on for the rest of your junior year at Tequila. Hope you guys have a long season. Uh, I know Coach Poff has told said great things about you and your team this year, and she has great expectations. So continue the great work, and uh, if we don't get a chance to run across each other again, Best of luck with, is at Georgia and your softball career, okay? All right. Thank you, sir. Well, that's a wrap on episode two. Thanks so much to Emily Digby and Coach Kelly Poff letting us know what a great player she has and what a great student athlete she has there in Emily there at Tequila High School. If you have any questions about the Georgia Dugout Club or if you have any suggestions of who we need to interview, coaches, players, programs, uh, here on Around the Horn, please let us know. Contact us through GADCSoftball.com. Until then, my name is Matt East, president of the Georgia Dugout Club, and I'll see you around the horn. <laughs>